Hey guys, so it's a little review into these two products that I got. So this is called Dragon, this is called Mermaid, and these were my two eggs from um, Tan Beauty. So I'm going to do a review of these and maybe keep them till Easter time, seeing as they're eggs. Or they might just go up on my channel next week. Who knows? If you see it before I decided to put them up the heart. So they're little eggs. They're £5 each. And then if you order them from Tan Beauty, you pay postage and packing on that. So I think it was about £12, something like that. And inside looks like that. So this is the mermaid one, it's got all those colours. And I'm guessing these are the highlight the highlighters. Yeah, it must be, because look, that's really highlighty colour. And then this one here. Whoa! So they're really nice. So let's start with one of them. So I think I'll start with the mermaid colours and let's go for it. I'll be back in a second. Okay, that is me ready. I've taken off all my eye makeup and I've primed them with a little bit of my concealer from Revolution. Put my hair back a little bit so that it's not in our way and let's get on to the review. So, said I would start with the little egg malinky, so let's go for it. Right, so this is the mermaid one. So I'm guessing these, obviously we've just worked it out, these are highlights at the bottom and then these shades here. So what to go for? I'm thinking obviously I'm gonna go for a green look or a blue look. Hmm, what to decide? It's hard because um these seem to me very much the shimmer shades and then that just that one there that could be our transition colour. So I really just wanna go for green and then take blue underneath. Shall we do that? And then we'll use these for highlights. Okay, so I got my brushes here and we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so we have a good base there already. Um, and now I'm going to go in with this little colour here, this green one there. And I'm going to use one of my Zoeva brushes, which is um, 221 Lux Soft Crease. And I'm going to get some on the brush little bit. Right, okay. Right, there's some good pigment there. It's lovely pigment actually. I like it. And it's really buildable, so you can build it up to whichever colour you want to do. I mean, there's not a lot of shades there that you can, like, maybe make out transition colours and stuff. But then I am really a novice, and especially colours. I'm not very much into colours. Never have been. I've never really been creative or arty. So it takes me a little bit, I have to really <laughs> copy people's looks really, I'm not very creative, which is a shame, but um, yeah, that goes on lovely, quite like it, but you're really limited then to what you can do with the other colours, I'm really just sticking this green across that bit here, and then we'll put a little bit of the blue in. I'm not sure. Just going up right. Okay, so I'm going to take the 231 Lux Petite Crease and I'm going to go in with that green again and just take it more into my crease. So to darken it up. Lots of coming down. Then that's maybe me not tapping my brush enough. Right, I think I've exhausted that green. <laughs> right, okay. So I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit now.
Now I wish I had a darker green in this to darken that up, but I don't. So, mm. I'm going to go with the shimmer green across my lid. Okay, I've just got that ready for the shimmer shade. I'm going to use my uh, 232 Suiva brush and I'm going to put that green shimmer on the lid where we've just put our um, concealer. Whoa, that's nice. It's a nice green. It's like an aqua green. nice. I've fallen in love recently with um, the green that's in the Eye Divine by Revolution but um, I really want to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills version because I think the pigment must be insane. That aqua green is gorgeous. I absolutely love that. It's nice. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to go back in with the 231 brush, so you have a brush, and I'm just going to go back in that green shade again, which we've used the heck out of, and I'm just going to take it back into my crease. And then I'm just going to do a bit of blending, and this is the 221. Okay, so I quite like that, quite nice. Um, I'm now going to take the blue down into here because we may as well. Right, so I'm going to go for these blues. Right, so I think I'll go with the really bright blue, which is there. And I'm going to use my pencil brush, which is the 230 by Zoeva. You can see that going on. a nice blue. Oh, that's a lovely blue, quite like that. Right now we may as well take the other blue, take it along, a bit along, just to see what it does. Try and use every colour. Okay, I'm just going to blend a little bit. Okay, so we're getting kind of mermaidy feel. Now, seeing as we have used every colour apart from this gold, may as well put gold in the middle. Just try it. So I'm going to go back in with the pencil brush and hopefully it's clean enough I'm going to go in with that gold so we've used every eyeshadow bit okay so that is our gold it's quite nice right okay I'm going to speed up the next part while I tidy it up
<laughs> okay, so that is me um, nearly done. I really quite like it. Um, I think it's lovely and it is quite mermaidy vibes. So we'll use a little bit of the highlight for up into the brow bone, which I will use this brush, which is my Zoeva 325. Um, which one to use? I use a bit of this one. Kind of like mix a bit of both. Okay, so I'm going to put on a little bit of my Model Co um, blusher. A little bit of nearly finishing the look on this side. And I'm going to use my Spectrum BO8 and I'm going to put on a little bit of highlight using these two colours down here. Okay, so that is my finished look using the Mermaid Egg and I quite like it. And we've used every single colour there. We have used the blue, the two blues underneath, the gold in the inner corner, the greens on the top and then we've used the highlight for on my cheek and then up into the brow bone. So I'd say that's lovely, I like it. And I used the um, Doucey eyeliner just to create that eyeliner effect and a little bit of a stamp because I like that. Okay, now I'm going to do the dragon on the other eye. <laughs> um, it wasn't starting off a kind of video like that, but now it's begun to be that video, so hope you enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> these are the colours. As you can see, they have been used. I used these this morning on the school run, just a quick dip. Um, so I think I might do the same as I did with this eye. I'm going to go in with the matte, then darken it up, make the top red, and then I'm going to take gold down into the bottom. And then these as my highlight on the brow bone and on here. So let's start. Okay, so starting with the 231, and I'm going to go in with this red. Now my eye is primed, it's um, ready for the colour. So. The pigment's quite good here. Whoa. So as a first colour going down, that's quite pigmented. Take the 221 and just fluff it out. Okay, I'm going to go in again, or I'm going to go in with the red and this more controlled brush, which is my 231. And put it into, more into the crease. Right, now I'm going to go in with the brown shade, which is up at the top, and I'm just going to use that to darken my crease. Okay. Lots of all out again, but it's not as bad as some, and I'm not tapping my brush, so it's my fault. I'm just keeping that down into this section here. Okay, now I'm going to just blend. Okay. Right, 
Okay, I'm gonna tidy up this little bit here and I'll be back in a minute. So now I'm going to get ready for that shimmer colour on my lid. That's enough. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the 232 Luxe Crease Shader and I absolutely love this brush. It's my favourite of all the brushes. And I'm going to go in with the red at the bottom, the shimmer shade. Didn't use this this morning, so I haven't used this before. So it's very similar to um, the red that we got in Zoe, um, Zoe, the Soft as nail palette. So it goes on nice. Okay, so that's that red on. Now I'm going to take this little brush again, which is your crease brush, um, and I'm going to go in with that darker colour again into the crease. And then I'm just going to blend it out. It's telling me it's running out of juice. Oh my goodness. Right, let's keep this end up before I run out. Okay, so this is our red. Now I'm going to take the golds into the bottom of the eye. Now I'm rushing. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the gold right along here. And that's that gold there. Then I'm going to use this one along the other outer corner edge. Okay. And I'm going to use one of these highlighted colours for in the inner corner. Whoa. That's nice. That's lovely. Right, and now I'm going to just take the bottom colour here. This was my inner corner, this one here, for along the brow bone. You see that? Now I'm just going to blend this along a bit. Right, now I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Now I'm going to do some eyeliner, some white down the bottom here. And some Doucet along here. Okay, and that 
is the finished look for both of my eggs. So that would be it. Right, and we've nearly ran out of time. Oh. So that is our dragon and our mermaid. Um, <coughs> hey guys, so um, my camera went off, it ran out of charge. So I've tidied up a little bit while I was waiting and that is my finished look using the dragon and the mermaid. I really like them. Um, I think I like this one best because I like the colours but this one I think opens up my eye really nicely, makes it a little bit bigger. Now uh, I think for an eye look I'm not overly keen because um, you have limit colours to play with for your outer corner and stuff and I like to deepen it up and have layers um, but that's just the way I like to use my eyeshadow so you can't get many layers on it or like darker colours or deepening colours around here but then I am a complete novice so I can imagine some people might be able to um, but I do like the looks and I think I will definitely be using the turquoise and um, for these colours up on here so this won't be wasted, these will be used I absolutely love a good shimmer um, especially on the top of my lid here so I can't wait to use them with a deepening colour on the outer corner I think that'd be really quite nice. Um, yeah, so that's it. And I used to finish off the look. I used this, the super matte matte lipstick, um, by Jelly Pom Pom, and we got this in our pink parcel yesterday. So I used that on my lips, and I really like that colour. I think that's a gorgeous colour. So um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So. That's me ending the video now because I have to go and take one off and keep another one on for when I pick up uh, Garen from school. So which one do you think I should keep on? I think I am going to go with out of my comfort zone and keep this on. So I take this off now and I'll be back in a minute when I've got two of the mermaids. So see you soon. Okay, so that is me finished. I've done my other eye to match the other one. And I'm now a mermaid using my Tam Beauty Mermaid Eye Heart Egg Thingamabob. I'll leave it in the description bar below if you want to buy one of these. And um, There's lots more colours you can have. This is Dragon, this is Mermaid, but there's tons more. So pop onto the site and have a look. They're only a fiver each, which I think is quite nice. I might go and buy a few more. But um, yeah, I like it. So I'm off to do the school run now, pick up my son from nursery um, with my Mermaid vibes. Alright, hope you enjoyed that video guys. Um, thanks for joining me and I'll see you on another. Alright? Bye guys. Subscribe to my channel. Hello. Comment below. Press the bell button. Thumbs up. Thank you.